Hi folks, right, I get asked fairly often about before and after videos, all right, um, or I'll put a video up on here, so that's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and people will say, I want to see the dog beforehand, all right. Now, I think uh, that's not the way I train, okay. So generally what will happen is that the training that you see in these videos has started from the moment we get the dog out of the car, okay. Um, so if we look at this area here, so with Logan here, right, okay, so say for talking sake our, our dog, there's a boy there, <laughs> right, so say our dog is uh, reactive or excitable around dogs uh, from here to that red building there, okay, we start training here, okay, and then as the dog settles and the more uh, confident we get, we start merging from here to there, all right. Uh, I put a video up last week and somebody had made a remark that that was, um, it was to do with uh, uh, high drive working dogs or high energy working dogs and somebody said along the lines of that's the least high energy dog I've ever seen in my life and I'm like, that's the point, okay, <laughs> right, because we set the conditions properly, right. Somebody had asked about, um, can I see a, a before video of dogs like that? The before videos look like the videos that you see, okay? Um, it's the conditions that change, all right? So the change, it's the changing conditions that I work on, which is usually distance, amount of reinforcement that we're given, how we're moving, okay? How we're handling the lead. It's those changes that are different rather than the dog's behavior. So I set the conditions, or we do our best to set the conditions that the dog is behaving well, okay, according to us. We look at those conditions and then we try and merge them into what we want, okay? So with most of the dog type time that you see it, it's proximity. That's the, the big, single biggest condition that we're changing, how close that we are from the other dog or the person, all right? Um, it's what people very often want to see, and I think it's probably because of TV trainers, is they want to see um, dramatic before and after videos, okay? So that we can now see the process of change okay and again just as i've said the process of change is the change in conditions all right so if you've got a dog who is um shows behaviors that we label as being aggressive or reactive to dogs or people for talking sake so lunging and barking at other uh, dogs and people the, your dog will not be lunging and barking all the time okay so if your dog is in your the room just now look at your dog are they lunging and barking okay then look at what are the conditions that you're under just now, okay, sitting in your room or sitting in your car, on the bus, whatever you are, listening to this, okay, and then the conditions at which point you see the dog, okay, and those two sets of conditions are capable of being merged one into the other, all right, so that's what we look at rather than really dramatic uh, before and after videos where it shows the hero dog trainer wrangling the dog and all this nonsense, all right. Um, now, if we look at where Logan is just now, okay, so he has been playing with other dog, eh, sorry, with the balls, okay, he's been running around, and if he was to see a dog across there, okay, down at those, that building just now, he would probably be settled, okay, and the conditions are that he's been playing for 10 minutes, okay, and he's been playing with the ball, and he's been interacting with me, okay. Now, if I now go closer, so I'll go the other side of that fence, okay, and he's on the lead. The proximity, the fence, and the lead are three changes in conditions which may change his behaviour, okay? So that's just as an example for you, all right? And what we're wanting to do is gradually merge those conditions in from here, the distance from here to the fence, there, okay? Um, my handling of the lead, okay? So can he move well with me? on a slack lead, as well as he moves with me uh, on when he's off lead, okay? Um, can I move as well when I'm holding the lead, as well as I can move around him when I'm off lead? So these are all conditions that we look at. So look at the conditions, okay? And that's how we change behavior, because behavior changes in relation to changing conditions. All right, so hopefully that's been useful, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Love and peace to you.